Uh, Mr. Nelson, who will be the witness? Uh, <clears throat> Ernesto Torres. Ernesto Torres. Okay, so we are well into day five now. And I wasn't aware that the defense actually called three witnesses in this trial. I was under the belief that Nick Mew was the only witness they had called. But since day five is the one with the translators, they allowed the defense to go ahead and call two witnesses out of order so that the translators wouldn't have to show up on a second day. So just to be clear, the prosecution, or as I like to call them, the bovine attorneys, have not rested their case yet. We're just going to go out of order for the next two videos for the court's convenience. So now that I've explained that, let's continue. See. Yes. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Nelson. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell the, all of us your name, please? Ernesto Torres Chavez. Ernesto Torres Chavez. 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 Correct. Can I call you by uh, Ernesto? Si. Ernesto, do you know yes. this man over here? Si. Yes. Yes. Nick. Nick. Nick who? Nick Mew. Nick Mew. How long have you known Nick Mew? Approximately, uh, well, it's over 10 years. Do you, uh, did you work with Nick? Si. Yes. Um, are you married? Si. Yes. Who's your wife? Amy. Amy. Is, up here, is this a picture of you and Amy? Si. Yes. Do you have any family in here other than that? My sister on the right side. Rosie. Rosie. That's your sister? Yeah. Si. Anybody else family? Not relatives, all friends. Did your wife Amy work with Nick as well? Si. Yes. And when you, you said you're friends with Nick, obviously sometimes when we're adults we have different, lots of different friends. How close would you consider Nick as a friend? He, he's my best friend. You're at his house, he's at your house? Si. Yes. Would you consider Nick to be kind of a handyman? Si. Yes. Uh, why do you say that? Because he's, he's always there helping things in his house or he goes to other houses to help fix things. Have you ever seen him use tools to fix things? Say si. Yes. Have you ever seen him uh, with a pocket knife? Say si. Yes. Have you ever seen him use the pocket knife as a tool to fix things? Say si. Yes. Can you tell me about some of those things that you've seen him do with the pocket knife to fix things? I've seen him fix things in his house. Para, para and and me, my house, when I bought my pool, he helped me uh, fix the, the pool and <clears throat> in general fixing things. Wanna ask and, he, you, and he used the knife, sorry. Want to ask you some questions about uh, the trip down the river on July 30th of 2022, okay? Si. Yes. Is that a trip you and your wife have made before? Si. Yes. Prior to leaving your house that day, did you have a call? Did you call Nick Mew that day and ask him to bring anything? Si. Yes. Um, what did you ask Nick to bring? Que, que llevara su navaja. To bring his knife. His knife. Is that a pocket knife or some other knife? No, la de pocket. No, the pocket. And why did you ask Nick to bring his pocket knife? Because the last time we were, went to the river, we had all the inner tubes tied together and we couldn't cut the cords, so we had to pull them out of the river all together and, and bring them up to the place where we had to leave them. So you wanted him to have the knife to help cut the cords at the end of the trip? And at the beginning, too, it's uh, useful to tie them up. Why didn't you just bring your own pocket knife? Yo no tengo. I don't have one. Who's the guy that tends to have a pocket knife in your group of friends? Nick. Nick. Is he the handyman amongst your group of friends? Si. Yes. Is he, you said he had that pocket knife with him sometimes when he's come over to your house, right? Si. Yes. That day when you called him and asked him to bring the knife, were you worried about Nick Mew having a knife? No, there's no reason for that. You've known him for a long time? Si. Yes. 
Seen him in your home. Seen him in his home. Sí. Yes. Seen him at work. Work with him. Sí. Yes. Fair to say you've had opportunities to observe his character. Would you agree with that? Sí. Yes. Would you agree Nick Mew has a character for peacefulness? Sí. Yes. Were you worried at all about Nick Mew bringing a knife based upon what you knew about Nick? Jack Dunn. Overruled. You can answer the question. No. No. So now I'm going to talk, ask you some more questions about the river, okay? Being on the river. Same. Yes. When you were on the river, was Nick there with his wife? Same. Yes. You see the picture there? Uh, Nick's wearing a shirt and sunglasses in that photo. Is that what he looked like on July 30th? Same. Yes. You see the picture? Yeah. Yeah. You see Nick is uh, wearing a hat in this picture? See. Si. Yes. This picture, Nick doesn't have a hat. In 12A, he doesn't have a hat, but on 110, he does have a hat. Do you agree? See. Si. Yes. Were there times that day that you saw Nick wearing a hat? See. Si. Yes. Were there times that day where you saw that Nick had taken the hat off? See. Si. Yes. Did you see Nick with uh, some goggles and a snorkel? See. Si. Yes. Did you see him use the goggles and snorkel prior to Ariel losing his phone? Si. Yes. Um, would he use the snorkel to swim in the river? Si. Yes. When he used the snorkel to swim in the river, do you remember, was he wearing his hat? No. No. Was he, when he had on his goggles and snorkel, was he wearing sunglasses? No. No. Was there a time when you were on the river that you saw or that uh, you came to learn Ariel had lost his phone? See, si. Yes. When he lost his phone, did you guys stop and have a discussion? No, we didn't stop. We, we didn't stop. We continued. Then we, he said, I'm going to look for the phone. The and I said, no, don't go. And then he said, I'm going to go look for it. For it. The he you're referring to is Nick Mew? Correcto. Did you eventually? Correct. Did you eventually see Nick go look for the phone with his goggles and snorkel? See. Si. Yes. Did you see him go in the same direction that the water was flowing? See. Si. Yes. Would you, can we call that downriver? See. Si. Yes. Do you know why he went downriver to look for the phone? I think that he went down the river because the telephone was inside a pouch, those bags that you use to put them in the water. On Exhibit 12A, that photo, do you see some people have lanyards with, uh, looks like maybe a phone inside of them? See, si. Yes. Do you even see Ariel and Gilma right there with the same? Yeah. Is that, si. what, yeah. Is that what you're describing? See. Yes. Yes. Si. Yes. Please just slow down and wait for the interpretation. When Nick then left to go look for the phone, were you watching him? Si. Yes. Um, did you look for the phone at all? No. No. Were you sitting in the tube, standing near the tube, or doing something else? Sentado. Sitting down. Did you eventually see Nick and another group of people or multiple people interacting in some way? No. No. Did you eventually learn that Nick was interacting or people were interacting with Nick? Si. Yes. How did you learn that? From something you saw or from something you heard? His wife said, Nick is in problems, in trouble. When you heard, did that surprise you? Si. Yes. You ever, you know, you know Nick, you must know his wife, Sandy. Si. Yes. Have you, you guys must hang out together as a couple often. Si. Yes. When Sandy said, Nick's in trouble, you took that as Sandy expressing concern for Nick's safety. Si. Yes. Had you ever prior to that, that day or any time before that, heard Sandy express concerns about her husband's safety when you were around? Nunca. Never. It must have surprised you then on that day when you heard that. See. Si. Yes. What'd you do? So I looking down where uh, people was, and I saw need in the water. And I stand up, and I tried to get her. When you saw Nick in the water, did he appear to be 
snorkeling and looking for the phone? Or was something else going on? No, he was in the water and there were people around him. How many people? I can't tell you the number, but there were many, maybe 10, 15, I don't know. When you made that observation, were you worried for Nick's safety? Si, yes. What did it look like that group of 10 or 15 people was doing to Nick? He, they were shouting at him. And when he was in the water, so, somebody, somebody was yelling at him. Did you ever see anybody have physical contact with Nick? At that moment, when I saw Nick in the water, I saw somebody hitting him. That's the only thing I saw. After you saw him in the water, did you keep watching? Uh, well, I tried to get over there, but uh, I lost my shoes in the middle of the river. On your way, were you able to continue to watch, or did you need to tend to your footwear? No, no. I uh, tried to keep walking, but I couldn't. And I did watch the group at some point, and, but not always. Did you see anybody being violent to or at Nick? After I saw him in the water, I didn't see anything else. And it sounds like you don't know how he got down into the water. When you first looked, he was already in the water. Correcto. Correct. At some point, did uh, Nick, did you see Nick walking back to you in the group? After I saw him standing there, I told him to come back, and then he came back. If we're on the river, you're Ernesto, and I'm standing where Nick is, roughly. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The river flows that way to downstream. Does that make sense? Correct. Correct. And you see Nick walking somewhere in your direction, not, not exactly this angle, but somewhere towards you, correct? Correct. Correct. And after you saw Nick down in the water, eventually you see Nick coming back to you because you called him back. See. Si. I want to yes. ask you about that moment in time. When Nick's walking back towards you, is he looking at you in the group, or is he walking backwards looking behind him? Uh, no, estoy seguro. I'm not sure. You're looking in Nick's direction, correct? Si. Sí. Yes. When you look in that direction, do you see somebody else that draws your attention? Si. Sí. Yes. What do you see? When Nick was coming uh, over on my left side, someone else tried to um, approach and pointed at me with the finger. When you say the finger, that might have different connotations. So do you mean like a pointing finger or something else? Pointing with, my fi with the finger. And uh, when they're pointing with your, their finger, is Nick near you? Iba pasando. He was going by me. By me. So if I'm Nick in that scenario, Nick is walking this way, you're pointing in that direction. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I'm looking at the person who was there and say, stay there, stay there. Can you describe that person? I have no idea. Why were you telling that person, stay there, stay there, stay there? Because there was a person there pointing, I don't know if she was, they were pointing at me or at Nick, but they were approaching. Did you think it was safe for that person to come towards you and Nick? I tried to prevent that person from approaching us because I thought maybe the problem will, was going to continue. You thought the solution to that problem was to keep Nick separated from the group that was pointing at you? Si. Yes. I'm going to now ask you about when Nick's back at the tubes with you after you <clears throat> pointed at this person, okay? Make sense? Si. In that time, what did Nick look like? He looked worried and he was pale. I think there was a time you, you, you also used the word he looked white or he looked wide-eyed. Si. Yes. Did you see those things when you looked at Nick? Si. Yes. You said you've known Nick for a long time. He's your best friend. Have you ever seen him scared before? Nunca. Never. Did he look like he was scared then? Si. Yes. Have you seen people when they're in shock before? Si. Yes. Did he look to you like he was in fear and in shock? Si. Yes. Were you worried about him? Si. Yes. And is that why you were pointing at other people because you wanted to protect your friend and keep him there because you were worried about him? Si. Yes. Would it be 
fair to say you didn't really know what had happened down there at that other group. You just didn't want anything more to happen. I mean, yes, it's correct, because I didn't know what had happened. So. Right. Did Nick stay then with the group at the tubes? Did he stay there that whole time? Sí. Did he ever ask you or make any motions to or indicate in any way, tell you in any way that he wanted to go under the shore or on the woods or sit anywhere other than in his tube? No. No. What did you see him do while you guys were waiting there? He just sat in the inner tube and he didn't say anything. No words. Did your impressions about him being in fear and shock, did that change over that time or did he continue to look like he was in fear and shock? No, he continued in shock. How long did you guys in your group wait there at the tubes before you eventually, eventually floated b down the river? I would say 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I don't know exactly. It was a while. Why did you eventually go back down, float down the river? Did anything prompt you? I don't know. I'm not sure if it was the police or if it was something else, somebody else who was trying to guide people and they were telling people to move, move and to continue. And based upon what you saw then, you kind of helped your, your group say, we got to go and you move down the river. Correct. Correct. During the float down the river, it continued to be quiet? Totally quiet. I, as far as I remember, nobody talked until we got to the exit. What happened at the exit? When we got to the exit, I don't know if it was a policeman who was there. Somebody was cutting the ropes. Then we crossed, uh, we passed the bridge. When we passed the bridge, there we noticed there were policemen there. They were over here and we were on the other over here. They approached the group of where we were. And when they approached the group, did you see them somehow indicate or say something to Nick? The, the, right at that moment when we, they stopped us, I don't know if they were policemen or not, but then one of them came and he said, he has to come with us. The policeman asked Nick to come with them. See, si. Yes. Did you then see Nick go with the police? Si. Yes. Camino normal. He was walking normal, normally with them. Were you surprised at that point? We, yes, we were in shock because we didn't know why we, they were um, detaining him. We didn't know what had happened. And you couldn't believe your friend who's peaceful would have done anything to harm someone? Nunca. Never. That's all. Mr. Anderson, do you have any questions? <laughs> You've tubed on the Silver, Apple River several times, including with Nick, right? We have, but uh, it was the second time with him. And the Apple River, it's kind of a party scene, agreed? See? Si. Yes. You got, your group was drinking? See? Si. Yes. Probably most of the groups you saw on the river were drinking? See? Si. Yes. Were you intoxicated? No. No. How many drinks did you have, do you know? Probably like a Four beer? You told Nick not to go look for the phone, but he insisted, right? Correcto. Correct. And Ariel wasn't worried about his phone because he had insurance, right? Correcto. Correct. You know, I'm getting real tired of this idea that insurance just solves all problems. It doesn't. It just sounds like something some dumbass would say because they've never had to deal with it before. And after Sandy said... Nick's in trouble, you started walking towards Nick, right? Correcto. Correct. And you got pretty close to where Nick was, right? No. No. You got a lot closer than Sergio did, right? I don't know because I don't know where Sergio was at that moment, but yes, I was close. And you saw Nick in the water, you said, right? Sí. Yes. You never saw Nick do anything to anyone? No. No. You said you were concerned for Nick's safety, right? Correcto. Correct. You, you walked over there, right? Same. Sí. Yes. And you told police, I didn't see, we, we don't know what happened because Nick didn't tell us anything, right? Correcto. Correct. 
And you said that multiple times. Correcto. Correct. You told police multiple times that Nick ran away. When you're referring to uh, uh, running or uh, or running away, I'm yeah. referring to when he uh, left that group and approached our group. When he on this, went on this side. When he went back to your group, you said he ran back to your group, right? Correcto. Correct. You told that to police multiple times. Correcto. Correct. So you remember him running back to your group? I mean, I, he didn't come running. He was walking fast. He was just b coming back. He actually just walked casually back. Objection. Right? It's Overruled. He can answer if he understands. He wasn't walking fast back to your group, was he? He was walking. He was walking. But not quickly, right? No, no. No, no. And then after he walked past you, you told police the groups were fighting each other. I couldn't say they were fighting. Everybody was shouting. We didn't know what was happening there. But what you told police was that the groups were fighting each other after Nikolai left. I don't remember uh, right now, but... Uh, in my opinion, the, because of the way they were talking and uh, they were loud, it, they may have been fighting. You didn't see any injuries on Nick when he walked back, right? No. No. And your group stayed at the sandbar for a while because Eric was helping with the victims, right? No, say. I don't know. Was Nick helping with the victims? Was Eric, sorry, was Eric helping with the injured? No, sir. I don't know. Eventually, when you did leave, it was because Nick said, let's go, right? No. Nope. When you got to the exit, there was a lot of police there, you said, right? See? Si. Yes. There, there wasn't any belligerent people approaching you or anything like that? I couldn't tell you if there were people approaching us or getting closer to us. There were people in front. There were people behind us. I don't know what you're referring to. You didn't get threatened or anything when you got out to the exit, right? No. No. When Nick came back to your group, he told you they took my knife, right? I don't remember. You told I police, don't remember. You told police multiple times they took Nick's knife out of his pocket, right? If I told that to the policeman, maybe, but I don't remember. You don't remember if Nick told you they took my knife? I don't remember. Exactly. She, she told me something. So Nick and was, I don't remember where because when we sit down there and the, and the two, we, we don't talk nothing. You saw Nick among the group of people when you were walking up, right? Correct. Correct. You could see how the group was acting. You could hear them, right? Yes, they were yell yelling. When police talked to you about it, you didn't believe Nick stabbed anyone, right? Nunca. Never. And you said, he's a big guy, he was in the army, he doesn't need a knife to defend himself, right? Si. Yes. And he was, he was in the army in Romania before coming to the U.S., right? I'm not sure if I said that, but I know that he comes from a communist country, and the military service is mandatory. I come from a communist country, too, where you have the mandatory uh, military service. And you answered questions about Nick had his knife because he used it to cut ropes. He was going to use it at the beginning and going to use it at the end. Do you remember that? Correct. Correct. Well, you told police that you thought Nikolai put his ba knife back in the vehicle before floating down the river, right? Correct. Correct. And you also told police you never saw Nikolai with a knife on the river, right? No. Well, when we were in the river, I only saw him with a knife at the beginning when we were tying the tubes. When Nikolai got back to the tubes after he walked past you, did you walk back to the tubes? See? Si? Yes. And he didn't say anything to you then? I don't remember because I pay attention to the guy put to us and I say, stay there, stay there. I don't want it coming to us. Nikolai didn't ask for your help or anything? Help when? 
ever. He never yelled for help, right? I didn't see anything until the lady told me that he was in trouble. You also didn't hear him yell anything, right? No. No. When Nikolai got back to his, the tubes, did you walk back to the tubes too? See? Yes. No one followed you, right? When Nick, uh, he was walking by me on this side, I stayed standing there and I told the guy who was approaching us, stay there, stay there and pointing. And then I followed Nick. You didn't answer my question. I asked when you walked away, nobody followed you, right? As far as I remember, no. If I'm look, uh, walking, I can't see uh, from, uh, in my, from my back. I can see in the back. And once Nikolai got back to the tubes, he put on his shirt, right? Correcto. Correct. And you didn't see what happened before Nick, you saw Nick in the water, right? No. No. So you don't know if he did something violent before you saw him in the water. What, you mean like punching an angry, belligerent woman who's just begging to be hit? No. No. You said Nick appeared very scared, worried after he walked back, right? Yes, it's normal. And you'd never seen him scared like that before, right? Nunca. Never. And he wasn't smiling, right? Pinche madre. Como? He wasn't what smiling? <laughs> no. No. That would be, you wouldn't expect him to be smiling if he was afraid, right? Who's going to smile when you're in the middle of a, a trouble? I want to show you some slides, some frames. All right, why don't we break here for lunch, uh, since there seems to be more questions. Members of the jury, uh, we're going to break until 1 o'clock. Same reminders, no independent investigation, no research. I uh, do not speak with anyone, including yourselves, about this case. Uh, we will uh, resume at 1 p.m. Baby Huey is now off to lunch. And his lunch today is the same as it is every day because his sponsor is Wisconsin's finest fried cheese curds. But of course, I've cut lunch out, so let's get back into the testimony. Uh, Mr. Chaguez, uh, please retake the witness stand. You're still under oath. Ernesto, <clears throat> you recall you said you don't know if you said to the officer on shore that Nikolai said they took his knife. Gee. Yes. May I approach? Yes. Can you approach? Yes. When, when you spoke with the officer at the exit, that was you spoke in English, right? Uh, creo que sí. Um, I think so. Wow, you can tell he's really pissed off about something. Well, I'll show you a transcript. Can you just... Uh, Take your time and look at that. Read through it enough to see if you know what it is. Want to make through everything? No, it doesn't appear that it's a transcript of your conversation with the officers at the shore. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to show you. Can you read that? No, just read it to yourself. Yeah. Okay, down here. I'll, I'll treat it. Yeah, I got it. He said, he said that somebody took his knife in his pocket, right? I said, I don't remember, but if that's what I say, it's okay. Are you, are you saying you don't think? I don't right? remember. Okay. So you remember, you don't remember if you said they took my knife, but you remember... Somebody pointing and walking towards you? I don't remember. Didn't you testify to that? Somebody pointed and walked towards you and you told them to get back? Yeah. See. It's a see. Yes, that I did. But you never told that to police, right? Well, they don't, they don't ask me. You never said it either, though. Right? So in, in that moment, you can say or remember everything you said. I answer whatever they ask me. You also testified that, remember when I asked you if Nick said anything when he was walking by you on his way back to your group? I don't remember. 
And you said you weren't paying attention because you were looking at the guy who was walking towards you or the person? Correcto. Correct. And you, you did, the officer never asked if somebody was pointing at him, anyone, but at you, but you did say, I told Nick to come and he came and that's it, right? Correcto. Correct. That's Ariel in the American flag shorts and black shirt, right? Correct. This, Correct. Is, this is Nick here? Correct. And this Correct. is you? Correct. Correct. And Nick is standing right next to you and you're touching his arm? Yes, okay. when he was passing by. Do you see anyone in this frame walking towards you? At that very moment in that picture, I don't see anybody. How about here on 3322? That is somewhere in there somebody's coming, it's pointing us. I don't see it there, but I saw that day. Okay. I've scrolled a little ways until 3333. See anyone pointing or walking towards you? No, no, no. I don't see anybody. Does it even look like anyone's looking at you? I don't see anybody at that time. But depends on the part of the video or depends on the perspective of how it was taken the video when we were there. I don't see those people there. I was but down there. It depends on the time of the video or the point of view of the person who was taking the video. That's you right here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're actually, you're actually walking towards the camera? See? Sí. Nobody is approaching you or walking towards you? And... No. No. Nikolai isn't in this, right? No, no, no. I don't see him. Is that you, Ariel, and Sergio on the top left? Donde? Where? Right here. Sergio, Ariel, you? Yeah. Yep. See? Sí. Yes. You still haven't walked back to your tubes? I don't remember. Well, in the photo. He's standing there, but in the picture... I don't know if it's after or before. Sure. Okay. Right? Do you think this is what you're thinking of after Nick was long gone? This is you, right? Yeah, that's me. And here's a girl standing by a group of other women pointing at you from a ways away? Or right. in your direction? Uh, I'm not sure, but this guy is coming this way from there. Probably one of the, one of the guys who was in the middle. I said to him, stay there, stay there. The guy is behind the yellow teacher. This guy I probably, probably was that one. It was right here, by in the front. This guy right here. This guy right here. Right here. Yeah. No, he's walking here in the picture. You say you can see he walk. When I say stay there, stay there, and he walk the other way. But in that time, he probably was right here on the hammer, my my finger, something like that. And do you, you said before you didn't know if it was a man or a woman, right? Who was pointing, and then that you and walking towards you and pointing, and then no, what was a man? It was a man. Was a man. If it was here, it would have been after Mew Nikolai was long gone, right? It would have been what after Nikolai. Sorry. I wait for the interpretation. It would have been long after Nikolai was gone, right? Yeah, but the, the person, when he started pointing me, started pointing towards it us. It start when Nico coming this way. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure he was in the picture or whatever the video was out right there. He asked like a, he turned this way to the other people. But before he was a little more far and he pointed to us. Before when I asked what, what did Nikolai say, if anything, to you when you guys, when he passed you? He said he didn't know because the guy was coming towards you. Now, your testimony is that it was later in the video. So do you know what he said to you or no? If anything, Nikolai? I don't remember. And you'd agree you got pretty close to where Nikolai was with the group, right? In que momento? At what time? What moment? I'll go back. 
And you, you said you, what did you say you saw for injured people? I saw some women, the other side, that's, that, that uh, woman was behind, probably the, uh, this guy. It was like uh, in the middle of the river. And I say, what's going on? Because I don't know what's happened. I saw her and I say, what's going on? You, did you see this man here on 3321? No. And you didn't see Nick do anything? No. I don't have anything else. Wow. So baby Huey has actually brought up a very interesting point that I never thought of before. This video that Cockfield shot in very, very tight portrait mode where you can't see very far on the left or the right. Hey, if it's not in the video, then it must not have happened, right? So I guess that means the blonde chick didn't get touched by anyone, huh? Something to think about. But seriously, why does this matter whether or not someone pointed at him? The only reason I can think that Baby Huey thinks this is important is because if there were people going after Nick Mew and his party, then I suppose these so-called victims weren't very scared of Nick Mew, were they? But we all know that's impossible because this portrait mode video was shot for the culture. You were asked some questions about slide 3321 that's in front of you. See. Yes. Again, this is you. See. You're, yes. It looks like you're reaching out to Mr. Mew, who's standing next to you. Correct. Correct. Mr. Mew is walking. He's walking upriver. See. Ariel yes. in the flag shorts is walking upriver behind Mr. Mew. As, in this moment, in este momento, in el video, yo veo Ariel. At Pero this before, moment, I don't. I don't remember what Ariel was. In the video, I can see him, but before, I don't remember where he was. I, I appreciate that. I'm not going to ask you about that. I want, I'm going to ask you about this person here. Do you see the person in the two-tone shorts? Que quien es? Do you see that person who in two-tone shorts? I'm not sure. I, I'm not asking if you know who he is. I'm just asking you, do you see the person that I'm pointing to in the two-tone shorts? No. Right now no. on the screen, do you see them? Oh, now I do. Now I do. Next to that person is a man in a yellow shirt. See? Si. Yes. I want to now ask you questions about slide 3922. Okay? You haven't watched the video, have you? No. No. The screens, the slides that we're showing you go in sequential order. So the first one is zero, the last one is 4,819. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. I previously showed you 3321, and now we're showing you something later, 3922. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. I'm going to blow this up. In the upper left-hand corner, that appears to be um, you and Ariel and Sergio standing next to each other. Agreed? Correcto. Correct. Correct. Yeah. But in the, what I say before, in this moment, I don't see this is, uh, si esto es antes o después del problema, porque I don't see the whole video. I don't know if this is before si or after me. the problem, because I haven't seen the whole video. If I were to tell you hypothetically, this is after, because we can see a victim or two victims or two people with injuries down. Agreed? Make sense? Okay. Okay. And then over here, way on the right, you see this blur that may be a person without a shirt on walking from a different direction over to your group. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. I'm now going to scroll through the forward in time, and I want to show you stuff, okay? Do you see somebody here on the left-hand side? Yeah. Is that a man in two-tone shorts that I had previously shown you? See. Si. Yes. Had that man ran up to you and then you... So, oh, wait, 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 please. I'll Objection sustained. Please rephrase. Is this the person that you saw come up to you that you pointed to to say, go away? See. Si. Yes. And as we move forward here in time, 
the person in the yellow shorts that was in a different spot before is there too, correct? See. Yes. And then as we move forward to 4012, excuse me, you now see the woman pointing the finger at you, correct? Correct. Correct. That's what I say, what's going on. Understood. When you previously, when you spoke to the police, was there a Spanish interpreter there? No. No. Um, sometimes when you've spoken today, you've answered in English. Agreed? Say. Sí. Yes. Fair to say your preferred language is Spanish. Español. Spanish. You know some English. Say. <coughs> sí. Yes. If you wanted to communicate something really important and make sure you were accurate, would you say it in Spanish or would you say it in English or would you say it in some other language? Español. Spanish. Why? Porque hay muchas palabras en, en inglés que tienen diferentes significados. Because there are many words in English that have la, different meanings. A la hora de uno contestar, puede ser que la respuesta no sea correcta. And when uh, one answers, maybe the answer is not the correct one. Also, when you hear words, is it easier for you to understand the words spoken to you and the words spoken to you are in Spanish rather than in English? Sí. Yes. You answered some questions about your knowledge about your friend Nick being uh, from Romania. I want to ask you about that, okay? Do you know exactly when Nick Mew immigrated to the United States? No. Do you no. know what age he was? No recuerdo. I don't remember. Do you know whether, in fact, he was or was not in the military at any point? No. No. When you spoke with the police, you told them you thought he might have been in the military for the reasons that you said here, because communist countries sometimes require that, correct? Mandatorio, sí. Mandatory, yes. You also told the police that you didn't actually know you told them several times, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Correct. Correct. Do you have actual knowledge as to whether Nick Bew was uh, in Romania and served uh, mandatory service for his country? No. No. Last area here. You said you were able to remember some things that you saw, but you couldn't remember everything that you heard. Would that be fair? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. sí. Yes. Do you find it for you easier? Do you find it easier to remember things that you see, or do you find it easier to remember things that you hear? Cosa que veo. That I see. That's all. Mr. Anderson. Is your testimony today important? Super important. Uh, very important. Sometimes you answer in English. Oh. Just, Oh, yes. Because you're also comfortable speaking in English. Because, uh, a veces lo entiendo, a veces no. Sometimes I understand it, sometimes I don't. If you told the officer, he said that somebody took his knife in his pocket, that's something you can easily understand in English, right? I don't remember. Do you understand what that means in English? It, sí. Yes. Told that to the officer 17 times. Do you think you said that because you remembered it at the time? I don't know how many times you say 17 times. I, I don't remember. Do you want to see the transcript? You can show me. It's highlighted and there's numbers next to it. Yeah, you remember all. Well, that's what he say I said, but I don't remember saying many times. I don't know. Do you agree or not agree that you told the officer that 17 times? I don't remember. You don't remember that, but you remember something you didn't tell the police from almost two years ago? What, what do you mean? Como que algo que yo no le di a la policía hace dos años. What do you mean? Something that I didn't tell the police two years ago. This is a 13-page transcript, and there's 17 times on here where it says something about, he said they took my knife. Objection, asked and answered, cumulative. Sustained. He said he didn't remember. Yeah, nothing else, Judge. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Torres. Torres. Senor. My apologies.
You are excused. You may step down. Thank you. Or as Chaguez. Yeah. So after seeing that testimony, I'm really not sure how the jury found this guy guilty. The only explanation I can come up with is they must have found 12 people who voted for Biden because they must be some of the most slow-witted people on the planet. But I really enjoyed watching Nelson utterly destroy baby Huey like that. And it wasn't easy for him to do either because Ernesto was quite upset. Baby Huey had really gotten under his skin. And then when Nelson got up there and began questioning him again, you could tell he was quite agitated. But Nelson was able to calm him down and show him the guy who pointed at him in the portrait mode video that was recorded for the culture. Cockfield accidentally got some exculpatory evidence in there, but apparently the bovine attorneys did not notice it, but you can be damn sure that the defense did. At any rate, I didn't think it was all that important anyway. I just really enjoyed watching baby Huey get pissed. The guy probably lost 20 pounds sweating in that huge gray suit. But once again, these translation videos are just taking me forever. And it is storming outside and it's late at night and I've got to get to bed. And there is still another witness to go for day five. And it's the guy in the American flag shorts. I just can't wait to hear that one. But if I were Nick Mew, I'd be proud to have a friend like Ernesto. I think he's a good guy, regardless of whether or not the fat-ass bovine attorneys think he's honest or not. Because they certainly aren't. They're either dishonest, or they're just too busy scarfing down the fried cheese curds to notice what happened in the video. Anyway, it's time for me to pass out. I'll be back soon with the end of day five. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. Well, that's about all the punishment I think one diaper can take.